Hello and welcome to another installment of Renault's product review. My name is Brett and the videographer at Renault Imports. I'm here today to introduce the 2015 Nuremberg Toy Fair video. Last year's video was received so well that Renault has decided to make a new video each year. This year's video will include some great footage and facts of the wonderful model and layout displays of the 2015 Nuremberg Toy Fair. Due to its long length, this video has been broken down into two parts, so keep an eye out for the second upcoming video with even more great footage. Well, we finally made it again, 2015 International Toy Fair. <clears throat> I think Mattel's got a Star Wars theme going this year. Keep in mind, we run a tour to the Toy Fair every year in February. So if anybody ever wants to go with, just reach out to Renalds.com and sign up for our tour. Here we are at, uh, I think this is Hall 3A. And uh, Hall 3A uh, has a bunch of puppets and or craft toys. And you can see, you know, the sheer size of this hall. This is just one of the halls. They have like 15 of these halls. Uh, each hall uh, dedicated to a different part of the industry. But uh, you can imagine, if you had a big toy store and you were involved in every part of the industry, how much walking you would have to do to see everything. It's incredible. You'd need a staff of people to, to see everything. It's really, the, the toy fair is really that big. Here we are at the Brava booth, 2015 Toy Fair. Uh, Brava's got some really nice new items this year. What I find particularly nice is this beautiful little layout here. I am not sure if I recorded this layout last year, but uh, it's so cute I have to actually videotape it again. Very nice layout. Look, I think there's a little wedding procession going on. Brava is going to deliver and going to produce um, a new box cab electric, the E75. Um, E75 will be done in era 2 in gray and in era 3 in Deutsche Bundesbahn um, green and then a Deutsche Bundesbahn era 4 version will also come out. They will produce again another run of the articulated electric, the E95 in um, DDR, Green, and ERA 2, Deutsche Reichsbahn. They will also make another run of the little box cat electric, the E73, in an ERA 1 Bavarian version, and also an ERA 2 
DRG Brown version. For those of our customers that like, um, you know, EMUs and and rail cars, uh, Brava is going to make another run of the VT45 here in the red DB version. They will also make um, a DDR version in the beige and red livery. And for the first time, they're going to make a Deutsche Reichsbahn version in the DRG green. Also new in the program for Brava are the uh, VB147s, the um, by wagons. These are the additional cars that go with the VTs that they came out with last year. And there'll be a DR version, again in the beige and cream. Uh, a smaller two axle Nebenbahn wagon, they call it, in the beige and red. They will make uh, some solid red DB versions, really nicely detailed. And then right here there's going to be an, another DDR version in an unusual red-gray with a white stripe. A new form, new tooling, the um, BYE, BYE 36 passenger cars. There's going to be an Era 3 and 4 DB version. Uh, there'll be an Austrian version, a French version, and an Era 2 Deutsche Reichsbahn version. These are brand new passenger cars, and the detailing is really remarkable. They will be very nice. Full interiors, separately applied handrails, very, very nice. Here we have a new diorama showing off the Brava V100. Uh, should be out this March. Everybody is waiting for this model to finally come out. Highly detailed, fully functional. And then there's going to make another version for the third series of the Umbau wagons. Those will be out in March also. Brava will also finally come out with the long four-axle um, SS LMA 44 flat cars. And there will be various versions. There will be Austrian versions, Czech versions, DB versions in different eras, Deutsche Reichsbahn versions. These cars should be out probably in the next, next month or two. For Era 1 and Era 2 fans, to match the small little uh, BR-78 that they came out with last year and this year again, they are going to make some matching uh, German Reichsbahn and Austrian Era 1 tiny little passenger cars. And these will be really popular. I think we will sell quite a few of these. I think people like these old-fashioned type cars with the, with the uh, platforms. Pretty neat. And there'll be several versions. There'll be Austrian versions in different eras. Sun's coming in right now, so it might mess up some of the filming. Brava is finally releasing in the next few weeks the new Gravitas. And there will be all the versions with sound finally. We should be seeing that in the next few weeks. Very nice modern diesel. This one's cool, this Foyt with all these different colors. For people that love the Deutsche Bundesbahn era three and four, 
<clears throat> they're coming out with a high, high-end Class BR290. You know, with uh, handrails without, uh, Era 3 and 4. They will also make Era 5 and 6 versions. This is a very iconic German engine, so this should be a great seller. The blue and cream version, of course, everyone's going to want that one. Here we are at the LGB booth. Uh, LG B has got some beautiful stuff coming out this year. They got a couple of uh, US prototype trolley cars. Um, they will have the BR99 class back again, uh, plus some Mikado and various uh, railroads and road numbers. Here's a beautiful little garden railroad that they set up. Very, very nice. A couple of LGB trains running. This would be great to have in your yard. LGB will also come out with uh, an Orient Express type car. <clears throat> and then um, a new Allegra in blue, the Arosa. That's going to be a really, really nice set. A BR99 with new sound and a couple of matching HSB wagons. For the hearts broken line. Very cool. Here's a US trolley car, Pacific Electric. A couple of U.S. prototype cabooses and passenger cars and baggage cars. For Christmas, they're going to have a Christmas trolley, a new Christmas car, a bunch of neat stuff. There's an awesome little Markland Z gauge layout. Just a modern tech scene. With some helixes. <laughs> there was a Ron Gibson just walked by making a cow sound. <laughs> and Z gauge are going to have the uh, dump tour station, the Hamburg dump tour station. Very cool. Mm -hmm. 
Ja, und der ist nachher besser ausgegangen. Was ist denn passiert? Der Bund ist ja viel, der Herr sagt, ich noch nicht mehr. You know, besides the Bavarian G55, Markland is really concentrating on some Era 1 items, so these little beer cars are going to be a great little set. And then, of course, another B6 with a Dorf Tender coming back with a nice matching um, Era 1 freight car set. Then they were going to make a Prussian train with a T3 060 and some matching passenger cars, so that'll be really neat. One of the great surprises of the show is uh, Marklin Trix is going to release the new Orient Express set, the King of Trains, in the early vintage, Arrow 1. The wood sided cars in blue with a matching BR18. Just a great display. There'll be two sets, there'll be a five car set and an additional two car set. <laughs> Marklin is uh, making a dent back into the uh, one gauge market with this beautiful BR38. Locomotive has uh, cylinder exhaust, synchronized smoke, smoke from the stack, it's all model, full sound. So I'm glad that Marklin is going to start producing one gauge again. I mean, they always have produced, but they've kind of been laxed about it. But now they see that KM1 is really building the market and uh, they are uh, going to do the same thing. SKM1, Mark one is also going to produce the BR75.
in the Bush booth here at the International Toy Fair. And here's a great little uh, mini train scene. These are German Feldbahns or narrow gauge industrial trains. And Bush develops the whole system. And this is great for mining or any kind of industrial building that people want to do. It's a really awesome display. There are some very talented diorama builders, that's for sure. Very neat. What a great little diorama. Those things run really smooth. It's crazy. Here at the NAC booth, like every year, they have a bunch of nice layouts, nicely detailed. Here's a drive in theater <coughs> with large screen. Nicely detailed. Inside the bush booth, there's more of the Feldbahn, the mini trains, dioramas are great, and their assortment is expanding exponentially. Coming out with a lot more kits. Here's another nice little scene. This is great. It's nicely detailed. Looks like they're coming out with more plants. Here's a construction scene. A 
day at the beach. This is great swimming pool. This is a great little scene. Heidi Dorf. Look at all the cows. All decorated. That's awesome. It's really excellent. So they're making more stuff for the Swiss market, the Swiss scene. Some nice new Swiss buildings. A nice little scene. Opa, smoking his pipe. I'm having a hard time focusing. We're here at the Nock booth, and it looks like Nock is expanding their uh, laser cut minis and adding more plants, more flowers, more garden vegetables. Pretty neat. Nock is offering uh, quite a bit of new scenery stuff this year, also uh, more buildings. There's a new building. It's a great new building. It's going to be a new single stall engine shed with a switch so you can open the doors. That's cool. This nice new end scale building with the fucker design. This is interesting. They're coming out with some farmland for crops, for planting. That's really good. Comes in a nice pack, one sheet. It's unique. Lots of new flowers. Different colors. That's a great little scene right here. Very nice. Ah, not makes great stuff. No doubt, they make a ton of stuff. After all, they are a hundred years in business. Uh, we're here at the Cato booth, and it uh, looks like uh, Cato's got a nice uh, Union Pacific. Um, looks like it's a four, 484. Some really nice matching passenger cars. And then uh, high speed trains. They have a Shinkansen again. And different generations of the Japanese bullet trains. Very cool. Looks like Kato is also coming out with a turntable. That might be an interesting product. It looks like they're also uh, expanding their gl Glacier Express line. Here is the Glacier Express for Anesco. Locomotive, panorama cars. This is a great set. 
runs on N-scale track. And wow, it looks like uh, Kato's coming out with um, an Allegra. That's a modern uh, electric rail. <laughs> like an EMU in Switzerland, the Allegra. That's awesome. That'll be a great selling train. This concludes part one of the Nuremberg Toy Fair. Stay tuned for part two with additional footage and dialogue. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos like this. Thank you for watching.